Hello, everyone. Um, today I'm going to tell you about the OpenAI services and products they're, they have. Uh, I'll go deeply in the detail, details about some of them, most popular like ChatGPT, etc. So OpenAI is an artificial research, uh, artificial intelligence uh, research laboratory. It actually con uh, consists of two companies. One of uh, them is created for business and the other one is for nonprofit uh, as a nonprofit organization. Uh, they are OpenAI is dedicated to advancing artificial intelligence in a safe and beneficial way, as they stated on basically everywhere. Um, so the main, their products are the following. The may, you have already seen ChatGPT. I think everyone sees that and which is based on GPT-4 model at the moment. They have also introduced recently chat plugins um, another another cool thing is DALI. Uh, recently, they had product called Codex, but is not relevant anymore. It is supported, but support will be stopped soon. So I won't spend a lot of time on it during the presentation. I will just elaborate a few words about it uh, at the moment. Uh, this product was designed to help programmers to write their code, but now ChatGPT is so good that uh, Codex is not needed anymore. This is why they have stopped supporting it. Another product is a uh, Whisper. Uh, Whisper neural network, and they also provide their their all services uh, with their API. So let's go deeper into each of them. The first, the first one is the major one, I believe, is ChatGPT or GPT-4 model. Is their flagship pro product? Uh, this is state-of-the-art language, large language model that can perform a wide range range of uh, natural language uh, tasks. Among them is implementation of basic chatting. Uh, this model may be used to extract embeddings from vectors. These embeddings may be used to build your products on top of them uh, for search over the text, uh, clustering data, building recommendator, uh, recommendation systems. Uh, also, these embeddings are used for anomaly detection, fraud detection, uh, and sure, it may be used for classification tasks. Another cool feature that ChatGPT provides is uh, analysis of data. It can summarize your text, uh, synthesize text for you, answer the questions over your text. Uh, on OpenAI's site, in their documentation, so there are quite large list of uh, possible solutions that may be built on top of their basic implementation of ChatGPT and GPT-4 model. Here is a screenshot, a screenshot of these uh, examples, and you may find much more on their website. The link is in a presentation. And the last but not least uh, cool feature that they provide, you can actually fine tune their GPT model for your needs. Uh, what does it mean? You can provide it with additional examples needed for your case, so it will learn from your data and you will have custom model needed for your needs. Um, OpenAI states the following major application. First of all, it's content creation. Their GPT-4 is really good for that, especially if you know how to use it. Uh, so you have to spend some time to learn how to send proper prompts to uh, to be able not to get um, very general responses from it. Another application is chatbots. It is kind of more tricky if you want to build a chatbot on the top of uh, their model. You have to dig deeper into some interesting solutions because out of the box, OpenAI does not provide memory for their uh, application and you have implemented uh, by yourself. Another cool thing that the GPT model uh, allows you to do out of the box is a language translation. I have tested it by myself. You can translate languages on a very good level because this model actually understand language and understand how people use it. Uh, so 
from in my opinion it works much better comparing to google translate so if you haven't tried it uh please try it it's really good and the last but not least again code generation you can save a lot of time uh by doing doing asking asking chat gpt to write some code for you uh write some algorithms um i've seen that many people are not very satisfied with these results but i believe that in many cases it's because you have to play a little bit with your prompts with your requ requests to make it uh, generate code on a really good level because you uh, as you are talking with a person usually you have to explain what you want you have to explain in some details otherwise you will get uh, not really good response uh, one cool thing that uh, is very important for if you are using chat gpt model and gpt based models you have to find out the best way to send requests to it uh, open ai's documentation uh, sends you to their discord channel it is the main source of uh, knowledge of experience of other people how to use these systems in a different way on this slide you can see an example on the right side i have tr tried to ask chat gpt to uh, to classify some comments uh, if they are positive or negative it can handle these tasks very easily and moreover if you provide uh, additional requirements like uh, put your put responses in a json format basically this chat gpt may replace you uh, complicated neural network for your task you can use this interface out of the box as it understands languages uh, very really well and will help you building such products in a very low effort almost low low code solutions uh, i would suggest you if you are interested to get more familiar on how to work with all these things uh, would, i would suggest you to have a look on the courses provided on deep learning ai uh, after spending four hours you will have uh, all the basic knowledge needed you to build most of the basic products on the top of chat gpt these course courses are really good they explain how to design prompts how to design complex prompts with several uh, several requirements for them uh, how to design chatbots for specific services for example for example for pizza delivery uh, they also explain how to use uh, more complex frameworks like LangChain that allow you to build uh, more complex products on the top of ChatGPT. And if you are going to build something, something that is going to be transformed into business sooner or later, you will most certainly need to have this, uh, this knowledge. So another topic very important about using these uh, models for your particular use cases is you, that you may need to fine tune them uh, for your needs and uh, OpenAI implemented this really well. Uh, you don't need to understand the programming. You don't need any programming languages to, to design a data set for that basically you are generating some kind of uh, json file uh, where you are providing examples of request and what a model should answer on this re request uh, you having this you can train gpt model on um, on their site on openai servers uh, for really small amount of money and have your own customized model this is very interesting thing. Another application that may be very useful for many for many products is embeddings. Uh, embeddings is just a transformation of your text 
into a vector of numbers. Uh, these embeddings are usually used uh, for building search engines, uh, for clustering your data, for building recommendation systems, uh, as I have already mentioned. Uh, especially if you are interested to build some product that uh, requires working with some private data that you don't want to be shared over the internet or shared with uh, OpenAI directly, you can use this product. Uh, basically, you will transform all your texts into such vectors, and then you may use some libraries that will conduct search on the top of them. And then you can do whatever you want with those uh, findings after search. For example, uh, get the chunks of texts uh, found for your text base and use them for question answering. Very useful tool. And here I would recommend you to use, uh, to have a look on the Llama index library. Uh, on GitHub that provides you very convenient way to implement this. And basically you will have uh, to write a small amount of code to make it work. Another, another cool thing uh, is uh, that was introduced recently is chat plugins. Um, very important thing, I think, as well, because it provides much more functionality to ChatGPT. Recently, it was able only to answer your questions based on the data it was trained on, but now it can access other uh, applications, other websites through these plugins. I believe some companies are very interested in developing their own plugins and putting them into ChatGPT. You can use those plugins to perform mathematical calculations within the ChatGPT. Uh, you can search, search hotels over the world, search uh, air flights, etc. Very good functionality. Um, what about alternatives to ChatGPT and GPT-4 models? First of all, I would like to say that uh, there are not so many really good competitive alternatives to the ChatGPT. Uh, first of all, because this is multi-language model, it is very complex and uh, the latest versions of uh, GPT-4 model provided by OpenAI will be capable to uh, take both text and images as input. This is very interesting functionality that will allow to build much more interesting products on the top of it. Uh, OpenAI spent a lot of time, money and effort to provide a really good training data for their model. Uh, I believe they spent millions of dollars to design those training data set Meanwhile, open any kind of open source model can't have this data as a training data. So uh, it, it is easy to see on many examples that OpenAI's model uh, work really good comparing to, op or to open source solutions. And moreover, uh, using OpenAI service, um, you may use their API, which is pretty cheap. You don't have to bother yourself with uh, deployment of model with paying for GPUs on instances. Um, and basically that's it. Um, embedding service from OpenAI have much more alternatives because there are really good uh, models available on the internet, pre-trained models, and you can have embeddings not from OpenAI, not only from OpenAI, but uh, also with those models. But again, you will have to bother yourself with deployment. From my experience, uh, embedding service from OpenAI costs uh, is so cheap that you can translate your transform your database of texts into those vectors by spending a few dollars and it doesn't force to to implement your own solution because you will spend much more your time to to do that so the most uh, well-known available 
alternatives are Open Assistant. Uh, it has really nice uh, web interface where you can when where you can already talk to it. I from my test it worked pretty well. I think uh, in most cases I tested it first of all for data science tasks and to generate for generating code on Python because I've seen that many models fail on that. Another open source solution is GPT for all. You can easily install it on your laptop and start talking to it and start doing some experiments with it. Uh, for conversations, it works pretty well, but I found that it's not really not that good for uh, for writing code, for example. Another open source solution is Hugging Chat uh, on Hugging Face. Mm, pretty good solution as well. And there are much more actually. Uh, in the following slides, I will provide the links where you can have or have a look on a wide range of trained, pre-trained model models and libraries to train model by yourself. Another good uh, good tool that may be useful for you is this website, uh, not.dev. Uh, this website allows you to compare outputs of different GPT-based models uh, on the same prompt. So basically, you can compare compare them easily and pick the best one for for your solution. Uh, other services that that provide similar functionality to ChatGPT and GPT-4 models uh, are Azure Open AI. Basically, Azure, Microsoft Azure provides the interface to work with the same models, but if you already have your products built on the top of Azure, it is really convenient to just add this another product and uh, try, try out to work with generative AI there. Uh, also, there is the Microsoft Bing that provides chat functionality at the moment, it works pretty well as well. Uh, Google's Bart, I think everyone heard that uh, at the moment it, it is not so good, but we'll see how it will be in the future. And uh, the less popular and, uh, and designed for more specific needs are Chatsonic, Jasper, and then there are actually many more, but uh, they are not designed as a general general chat as chat gpt uh, for that everyone could uh, could use it uh, could easily use it and ask anything they are designed as more specific products for some business cases and here you can see a comparison uh, where i asked uh, to perform the same task uh, chat gpt and open source GPT for all model, I asked it to write a Python code to train the LightGBM model. It's, it's a typical task for data scientists. Uh, this code should be able to load data from CSV file, run, the, run some procedures on, on this data and save results in, uh, into another, another file, calculate some metrics. Basically what ChatGPT did is on the left, it, it uh, wrote a pretty decent code. It works. Uh, sometimes it may have very minor mistakes in it, but they're easy to fix. On the other hand, uh, GPT for all model produced just uh, really not interesting code because it uh, wrote several several imports and for some reason added logger and basically that's it it uh, produced it several times and definitely it's not useful uh, here is the uh, a set of links that may be useful for you to have a look first of all uh, the library that is i believe most important now to use if you are going to build some product on the top of GPT models is LangChain. It allows you to build chatbots, uh, design uh, design your solutions for question answering over the documents, etc. 
very useful. And here is an example of a chart built on the length chain with, along with the code base. Another library that I have already mentioned is Llama Index. Uh, this is a framework that allows uh, you to work with your private data. It uh, transforms your text into embeddings and performs search over the texts. Uh, really, really good framework, I believe, and uh, it will be quite popular uh, very soon. Another cool thing is uh, Jaref AI. Uh, this is basically out of the box solution, uh, it is search engine that allows you to perform search over your documents, over your set of websites, over Slack communication, etc., and provide links for 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 these for these uh, results. Uh, here on this GIF, you can see uh how it works you basically it, it looks like google it may be self-hosted you're just asking the question and it provides uh you with the links on the results and here you can see also a set of links on github repos with another links uh i have collected uh and picked among the other ones because these links actually contain useful information. They have contained, uh, they contain uh, lists of large language models available in the open source and, and as a product. Uh, there is a collection of tutorials that may be useful for you to build your products. Uh, there are a bunch of different libraries that may be used as well. So I think it would be useful for, for anyone. And uh, one thing to mention is uh, you should be always careful with sending sensitive information. OpenAI claim uh, tells uh, about it a lot as well. You should be always, uh, you should be always careful with sending sensitive information with open, uh, with free version of ChatGPT and their free version of products because it may be used for training new models. So please don't share any company information, any personal details, because sooner or later someone will uh, send some questions, some requests to newer version of model and may get your, your text as the output of the model. I think he, no one wants to share their sensitive information in the way like that. So I think that's it. I had about the GPT models. Let's move on to other products, uh, products and services. As OpenAI have uh, something to to show more. Another very popular product is Dali. Dali is a neural network uh, that can generate high quality images uh, based on your text descriptions. Uh, basically, it can create images of anything based on your descriptions. It can generate images. It can outpaint images. For example, here on the slide, you can see that having smaller image, it can add, uh, add surrounding to this image, more details, etc. It can uh, perform in painting, for example, you may ask to add something on your existing image, uh, some details, some transformation, etc. It can produce also variations. For example, you can uh, you can have uh, a set of images in the same style or in the same in the same manner of painter, something like that. Uh, pricing for these for this interface is uh, is quite interesting i would say because usually when you're experimenting with these models you want uh, with, with these prompts you want to generate a lot of images uh, and i'm pretty sure that you want to generate in a, them in a good resolution in the highest possible resolution uh, so basically you 
on the one hand, you pay only two cents per image, but from my experience, you can uh, spend the whole evening generating them and you will generate thousands of images based on different prompts and this price will, will increase really fast. So I would recommend uh, to have a look uh, also on open source alternatives, uh, especially on stable diffusion. This model uh, is provided by uh, for free. It is open source. Uh, there are different versions trained uh, for different tasks. For example, you can have your uh, stable diffusion model to generate images in style of anime. Uh, and uh, res results are quite interesting and uh, it is very, really good to in generating photorealistic images. Uh, so I really recommend to you try it out. <coughs> another, another interesting service uh, that is provided service and open source model is Whisper. Whisper is a speech to text model uh, that for speech recognition. Uh, it is designed to transcribe speech from audio uh, into text and uh, by design it uh, it was trained on the on the speech uh, on the audios that may have a uh, low volume of speech a lot of noises so this model is quite robust moreover this model is built on chip built on top of gpt free language model so it provides much better, uh, much better transcriptions comparing to other other open source models, and because of uh, mul GPT model is multi language, you can actually uh, translate uh, translate speech. Uh, to other language on the fly. So basically you can have audio where someone speaks English and uh, you can have text afterwards uh, that is in French. It is easily to do, uh, does not require a lot of coding and uh, really, really, really good model. So the pricing for this model is quite cheap as well. So you can just use their API and, and use it. So about API, uh, OpenAI's API is a cloud-based service that provides access to a range of AI models, including GPT, DALI, Whisper. Uh, it allows data scientists to integrate AI capabilities into their applications. Um, and you don't need to train your own models. And even if you want to fine tune the model, it is really convenient and cheap using OpenAI services. You can interact with this API uh, through HTTP requests uh, from any language, basically. Uh, you can have official Python, you can use official Python Bindix and uh, official Node.js library. Uh, it is easy to to uh, to work with them. There are a bunch of code examples on their website, uh, I think, and and not only on their website. The GitHub is full of repositories show, showing how these interfaces may be uh, may be accessed and how to build different cool things on top of them. So pricing may be not that obvious uh, for their services. All the text models are uh, charging for amount of tokens. Uh, tokens uh, is kind of pieces of words that uh, uh, that used for by their models. Basically, you can think that uh, in 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 average, one token is approximately four characters of your text. Uh, in this case, you will uh, you will have several interfaces that you can um, send your requests. Is GPT-4 model? Is chat model based on GPT-3, uh, 3 and 5 Turbo? Is Instruct GPT? 
uh, which which actually may be fine tuned, and you can access embedding models as well. Embeddings uh, you can see are really cheap here, uh, comparing to other prices, and uh, basically you will pay for sending the request and the amount of words in this request and uh, the amount of words in the response. Uh, so, in, actually, you can even in your request limit the model in the amount of uh, words in the response. So, you can be a little bit flexible for that. So, the last but not least, I wanted to show you the one cool thing that is built on the top of uh, top of GPT model is Jarvis. This is a tool that was built uh, by Microsoft that can build your build you some products based on your requirements and i'm going to show you now a demo how it works here we go let's run jarvis run jarvis yes I need another next app with Tailwind. Keep my head here. One sec. You want me to create a new Next.js app with Tailwind CSS? Yes. One moment. What would you like the app to do? So uh, this time I want a basic social networking app and it needs to have three things. It needs to have a profile creation form. It needs to have a profile viewer. And I also want a way to see all the users on the network. One sec. You want a basic social networking app that includes a profile creation page, a profile viewer, and a list of all the users what would you like the profiles to have? Uh, let's keep it kind of simple. Let's just do a name, an email, and a username. One sec. I'll add those fields to the profile schema. What else can I do? I want you to optimize the site so that it works with mobile and desktop devices and I also want you to style it in like a dark mode. On it. Okay, I'll optimize it for both mobile and desktop and style it in dark mode. Anything else? Uh, start building. Okay. I'll start working. Here it goes. I created a new repo called Basic Social Network. Continuing. <laughs> this is so fire. I initialize the app continuing. Okay. I also optimize some speed things. I'm creating a profiles table in your database. Oh, yeah, it's, continuing. It's going fast. I'm building the features you oh, asked it for. Is going continuing. Fast. This one's going to take a little bit because this is like the bulk of the code. The other ones are pretty fast though, you got to admit. The app is building correctly. Would you like me to deploy it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's funny how confident I am that this is just One moment. Work. Okay. Deploying to Versal. Continuing. I deployed your project to Versal on McKay Personal. Continuing. I'm all done. Wasn't that fast? You should give me a raise. <laughs> I did not actually, that's hilarious. Okay. I, that's okay. Anyways. Okay. If we, if we refresh this, okay. We have basic social network. Where's the just now. Okay. Just now it's building. It's building. Um, okay. Uh, versal basic social network. Okay. Just building just now, you know, the drill, this is all live. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe this is a real thing. Okay. 
come on, build, build, build. I'm afraid I'm going to run over Twitter's uh, limit here. Come on. I'm, refre I'm just refreshing. Oh, let's jump into Superbase. You should be able to see. Yeah, see, we now, guess what we have now? We have a profiles table with the correct schema. Oh, come on, build, 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 build. We need to be able to test this. This is almost five minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Guarantee this works. Guarantee it. Boom. Dark mode. Let's see if it's responsive. Okay. That looks fine. Okay. Now we got to try this out. I'm going to put a uh, test. Let's do uh, just test and we'll just do test at gmail.com. Okay. We should be able to submit this and this should work. Profile created successfully. Okay. Okay. It shows the profile. You see, we have an all profiles list. Let's click that. Okay. This is showing us the profiles. Now let's go, let's make sure this is responsive. It is, it is. And if we go to our database, it is in our DB. The game has changed everyone. This is wild. And to prove that this works too, I brought my iPad here and we're gonna copy and paste it over here. And sure enough, I'm getting that profile over here. Wizardry, this is incredible. Let's run. Okay. I think that looked amazing. Uh, interesting time we are living in. So now you can use AI tools to build your complex solutions really fast. And uh, I believe for everyone should start looking on them and find out how they may be used. So in conclusions, I would like to say that uh, OpenAI uh, really offers a wide range uh, of services and products. They can be used uh, by many, 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 many technical uh, software engineers, automation engineers, data scientists to improve their workflow, increase efficiency, provide better services to their clients and build new products on top of them. Uh, from content creation to chatbots to code generation, OpenAI has something to offer to basically everyone. Uh, the pricing model of OpenAI services is based on usage and to be honest, it is really affordable. I believe it is very cheap and uh, using some open source solutions becomes not really relevant at the moment. Sorry. Uh, not that relevant because of that low pricing. So at this point, I would like to thank you for your attention. Please uh, share your feedback uh, and uh, with these barcodes and uh, join Cyclum. I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you, Oleg. Uh, it was really nice expecting the video. It actually also, uh, <laughs> we had some fun and we do have a couple of questions already. So I would move ahead and ask them. So Kuba is asking regarding customized models, can you run it on prem? Uh, if you are talking about fine tuned models by open AI service, no, you don't have access to them or you can you can uh, only send requests to them. If you want to use some open source models, sure, it is your model, it is your file, it is your code, you can run them on premise, uh, but uh, some of them may require a lot of GPUs to work properly. And in this case, you will probably have to pay a lot for such services. Thank you, Oleg. Um... Luchan has been asking, do you happen to have tried Vicuna from LLA um, MA? Not yet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Julia is asking, oh uh, no, we have uh, addressed her question. Martin is asking how it looks like with privacy concerns of OpenAI. How safe can we consider sensi sending sensitive information to OpenAI API? For example, do we know how the hyped case of leaked information from Samsung did happen? Uh, I believe that uh, sending sensitive information to an API should be more or less uh, safe. 
because they do not use it anymore. So they claim that they make some transformations, for example, embeddings, if you want, want to use them. And basically they should delete this information. How this is done in reality, sure, we, we can't know, but hopefully they will make some steps towards providing some uh, assurances to all the businesses because all businesses are now concerned how their data is used by OpenAI and many business cases are, should be built on top of sensitive data and OpenAI should address this definitely. Thank you, Oleg. We have a comment from Aline Marianne. Recently, they reduced the cost for GPT 3.5 Turbo with 25%. Also, they had a, a new GPT 3.5 Turbo model with a larger context. I think it was a comment to something that you have already been mentioning. Because we have no other question, Aline, maybe you want to add something on top. Uh, yeah, I haven't checked uh, uh, recently the latest, latest pricings. Uh, I believe that larger context uh, will is is released in a slightly different naming, but yeah, indeed they increased the uh, context of models uh, in two times. So now you will have more capabilities to build more complex chatbots and more complex question answering on top of that because you were limited. Uh, previously, you were limited. Uh, in the uh, in the amount of tokens in your request and amount of tokens in your in the response of model was uh, four thousand, and now uh, they introduced model for eight thousand tokens. So if your request is very large, you have no no much space left for your model to an for the model to answer. Thank you, thank you, Amar. Uh, dear colleagues, do you have any more questions? Uh, while you're thinking, we would appreciate you sharing your feedback about the event. It's how you're going to, um, this is your way to thank Oleg for his presentation and to, to share whatever you would like to hear more and further on our events. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask them either in on a chat or unmute yourself and you can have a chat with Oleg. And in the meantime, while you're thinking, uh, you can find a QR code to our website with our job opportunities at Cyclum. We do uh, enjoy uh, the professionals that we have. As you may see, um, there's a lot of things we can learn from each other here internally. And if you would like to become a part of our team and maybe potentially to become a next speaker or the speaker's corner, we really encourage you to check out the opportunities at our website, uh, to follow us on social media, and also to apply for the open roles. Uh, we really, uh, we really having fun and we never stand still actually. So you will definitely, you will never be bored with us. You will never be bored with us. That's for sure. Um, I can say that we have no other questions and because Allah has shared everything very much comprehensively um, just to remind you we will share a follow-up with all of you sharing the link to this video with the tutorial to the slides uh, shared by Allah with all the links you will also have the uh, link to the recording once it's available on, the, on our YouTube channel uh, and um, we really encourage you to follow us to check out the for the new events we have different variety of the topics raised uh, during the speakers corners so please stay tuned. Don't miss out. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you, Oleg, for the great presentation and for your time. And um, we'll stay in touch, colleagues. Thank you once again and wish you a great rest of the day and the week. All the best. Take care. Thank you.